All right, and welcome back to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center here on the campus of Grambling State University, the Grambling State University men's basketball team. Getting ready to entertain Alabama State University. Of course, the Hornets looking for their first win of the season as uh, coming into the conference season. They had not won a non-conference game yet. So they are also looking for their first uh, conference win. Grandma State University Tigers, of course, had a rough game against Alabama State, trailing early, and then, of course, uh, eventually losing to Alabama A&M. Let's tell you about the starting lineups. First of all, first of all, for the Alabama State University Hornets. The Alabama State University Hornets, led by Lewis Jackson. They'll be led by G uh, Gene Davis, one guard from Birmingham, Alabama. Toby Yusho, Yuosho, a 6'5 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. Reginald G, 6'3 sophomore from Houston, Texas. Ed Jones, a 6'8 junior from Atlanta. And Brendan Johnson, a 6'8 redshirt sophomore from Cleveland, Ohio. For the Grambling State University Tigers, they'll start Ivy Smith Jr., a six-foot sophomore <coughs> from Tacoma, Washington. Axel Mopoyo, 6'7", Jr., from Meridian, Ohio. Of course, uh, Deontay Jones, a 6'6", Senior, from Las Vegas, Nevada. Jason Perry Murray, a 6'9", Senior, from Harlem, New York. He's a transfer from Fisk. And number five, Shermaine Thomas, a 6'3", senior from Homer, Louisiana. Of course, he is a transfer from Tennessee Tech. So those are the starting lineups for Grambling and for Alabama State. Alabama State, of course, lost in their conference opener against Jackson State University. Opening tip goes to the Alabama State University Hornets, and we are underway. Tell you more about the women's basketball game a little bit later on in our broadcast. Starting things off for the Alabama State Hornets. Davis has the basketball. Gets it over to G. Shot up, no good. And the rebound coming down to Thomas for the Grambling Tigers. <clears throat> Thomas will control the basketball. Now over to Ivy Smith Jr. Nice pat try to pass it inside to Murray. And here comes Alabama State. G with a shot up, blocked out of there, and Deontay Jones with the rebound for the Tigers. Now to Ivy Smith Jr., and they'll start the offense here for the Grambling Tigers. Just underway here. Hey, coach of the Grambling Tigers, of course, is Dante Jackson. Going to be a foul on the floor against the Tigers. <clears throat> that foul is on Axel Mopoyo. First personal. Said it should be 20 seconds left on the shot clock, so I got to reset it. Pretty experienced crew here tonight for this ball game. And Alabama State with the basketball. Davis trying to find something. Jones for a three-pointer. Up. Good. Ed Jones with the first points of the ball game. Three to nothing, our score. Now, Ivy Smith Jr. coming across the half court line. <laughs> Perry with a basketball, I should say Murray, 
Now inside to Tremaine Thomas. Back out to Deontay Jones with two seconds left on the shot clock. Up no good. Ball tipped around, and Alabama State recovers it. G gets the ball out. Foul coming up. That'll be a foul on Tremaine Thomas. And that was an easy call right there as uh, Yuosho went inside and drew the foul. Alabama State basketball. And G gets the ball for Alabama State before the five-second uh, violation. Now Davis with the basketball. Davis, now to Jones. Jones to Yosho. And a foul, on, foul. And that's on Deontay Jones this time. Alabama State will inbound under their own goal. Gets it to G. 20 seconds left on the shot clock for Alabama State. Try to get it to Johnson inside. It goes out of bounds. Grambling with the basketball. And you can see right here, trying to get it inside to the big fella, Brendan Johnson, the 6'8 redshirt sophomore from Cleveland. Now Deontay Jones with the basketball to Ivy Smith Jr. to Thomas. Thomas out to Mapoyo. Traveling violation on Grambling. And it goes back to Alabama State. 3 0 our score. Grambling trailing. 17 26 remaining here in this first half of play. Victoria Black joining you here on GSU TV. Ivy Smith Jr. couldn't pick up the ball. Great defense on Davis. Davis nearly losing control of the basketball. Now to Yosho. Davis now with the basketball high up on the left side. Three pointer by Davis. Over the backboard. Oh, they call a foul. They're going to call a foul before the shot. So that foul is going to be charged to Jason Perry Murray. That's his first personal. The fourth team now in the first three minutes of the ball game. Three to nothing is our score. G with the basketball. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Ball tipped out of there. Jones has it. Now G with the basketball. Alabama State trying to find an open shot. And there's a three-pointer by Jones. Jones is doing a great job squaring up. And that's the second three-pointer of the uh, game. <clears throat> and this foul is going to be on Yosho. And Toby Yosho with his first personal foul. Grambling gets the ball inbounded. 16-38 remaining here in the first half of play. Six to nothing. Grambling trailing. <laughs> Devontae Jackson now in the ball game. Mapoyo inside. Traveling violation on Mapoyo. And it comes back to Alabama State. Great effort inside there by the Grambling Tigers. Oh, another foul on Grambling. That's on Devontae Jackson this time. That's the fifth team foul already of the half. Mm -hmm. After the mid-shot, ball tipped off, and Yosho with the ball. Now, Avi Smith Jr. with the basketball. Takes it down the floor. Gets it to Shermaine Thomas. Thomas goes up. Now to Mapoyo. Mapoyo goes up, and he's fouled. Mm 
That foul is going to be charged number 24, Brandon Johnson. That'll be his first personal. And the second team foul on Alabama State. Six to nothing, our score. Grambling trailing. 16 08 remaining here in the first half of play. Mapoyo with the first free throw up and good. One more opportunity at the free throw line for Axel. Shot is up and good. Now into the ball game for Alabama State will be Maurice White, the junior from Clarksville, Tennessee. Replacing Brandon Johnson. Oh, he stepped on the line, out of bounds. And Gramley gets the basketball back. 16-01 remaining in the first half of play. Seven to one is our score. Avi Smith Jr. now with the basketball. Jackson to Smith. Smith. Back to Jackson, little head fake, and it's going to be called for traveling. We have a timeout on the floor with the score. The Grambling Tigers trailing 6-2 to two to Alabama State University. We will take this timeout. You're listening or you're watching Grambling Basketball here on GSU TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. The Grambling Tigers trailing 6-2 to two to Alabama State University. 15-37 remaining here in this first half of play. Uosho with the basketball. Nearly getting it taken from him. <laughs> Alabama State basketball. Uosho getting it into Davis. Grambling in a 2-3 set right now on, de on defense. Davis looking. Now will dribble. Goes inside. Pops it back out. Three-pointer on the way to Jones. No good. And a foul coming up. And it'll be charged to Alabama State. That foul will be on G. And for Reginald G, that's his first personal third-team foul against Alabama State. And a dunk, leaving it wide open, Devontae Jackson. Two-hand slam, excites the crowd here. Six to four, our score. And here's a steal by Ivy Smith, Jr. Smith goes in, oh, it's gonna be foul. They want the shot to count. They want, the, they want that shot to count. And that shot counts. And Ivy Smith Jr. will be at the line shooting one. <clears throat> Into the ball game now for Alabama State, Jacoby Ross, a freshman from New Orleans. Went to a Peabody High School. Of course, his family is here in attendance at the basketball game.
Free throw by Ivy Smith Jr. is up and good. <laughs> Ivy Smith, one of the best free throw shooters on this team for the Grambling Tigers. Ross to Jones. Jones nearly gets the ball taken from him. Shot up, tipped around. Jones with the rebound for Alabama State. Three-pointer on the way, no good. And Deontay Jones with the rebound for Grambling. Avi Smith pushing the ball up the floor. Smith looking inside. Now to Devontae Jackson. Jackson on the baseline. Draws a double team. Bounce pass inside to Mapoyo for the buckets. Mapoyo first field goal of the ball game. He now has three points. And, of course, the players nearly crashing into our broadcast area. They called a technical foul on Ivy Smith Jr. And that was a pretty good Hollywood performance there. Unbelievable. I want to look at that replay because that was a that was a Hollywood performance right there. There's no way that that's a technical foul. That was a Hollywood performance if I've ever seen one. They got to look at that again because that's a little bit of a flop there. Both teams going to the benches and let's see if we can see that again. This was after the play was over with, by the way. Here, both players coming over, nearly crashing into the table. And wanted to see afterwards is what they were talking about. Right after that play happened is what they were really referring to. And if you see it again, after the play was over, Ivy Smith Jr. was there and really didn't even give a shove there to the player. And he just kind of did a Vlade Divac. See if they can show that replay again. After the play was over. And here's Ivy Smith. Now, this is when the play was going on here. That's Jermaine Thomas, and of course, that was also Gene Davis. Now, this is after the play. Here's Ivy Smith here. You can see the official getting ready to help him up. Now, there's no way that that is a foul. There was no way that that was a technical foul. You've got to be kidding me. There's no way that's a technical foul. If you go back to that, Ivy Smith was just was stepping over the player. You got to show that again. There's no way that's a technical foul. Ivy Smith Jr. goes over, steps over the player, trying to help his own player up. Where did that come from? That was, that was so Hollywood, it was unreal. Give that boy an Oscar for acting. Calling both coaches over. There's no way you can let the technical foul stand. Ivy Smith and one of the officials was helping Shermaine Thomas up off the floor. And you could clearly see that there was not a technical foul there. So now the officials have Lou Jackson and Dante Jackson, no relation, over on the sideline. And there you see Shermaine Thomas. Along one of the Alabama State players. Thomas just upset that he couldn't get to the basketball. And that's number three, Gene Davis. You see Davis kind of leaning to him a little bit. What is, what is that? There was no motion towards his head at all. How in the world do you call that? And the officials look at the replay and agree. Maybe, it was, hopefully it was something that we said. There was no way you could call that a technical foul. From this point on, his name is Gene Davis Kelly. 
He gets an Emmy, an Oscar, and a Tony. Unbelievable. Luckily, the officials looked at the replay and got that, uh, got that right. And now, Alabama State will get the ball back. Ross will control with 13 left on the shot clock. Six seconds left on the shot clock. Gene Davis now out to Ed Jones. Shot no good. I should say that was uh, Rodney Simeon. <coughs> and he goes out of bounds. Shot clock violation. <coughs> now they're saying there was one second left on the shot clock. It is shot clock violation. It goes back to Grammar. Great job by our camera guys, by the way, getting, uh, getting that... Uh, acting performance by Gene Smith Kelly or Gene Davis Kelly I should say Ivy Smith with the basketball inside the Mapoyo can't control it and Alabama State gets the ball back cross-court pass to Simeon shot on the way no good and the rebound by Gramley Axel Mapoyo goes up for the shot. He's fouled on the way up. That foul is going to be on Simeon. First personal, fourth team. And Axel Mapoyo goes to the line for the Grambling Tigers. Great job by Axel getting inside there. Axel is a 81% free throw shooter, misses that one. Now in the six R score, 10 to six R score. Grambling on top. Ross with the basketball, three pointer on the way, no good. And rebound Grambling. Rebound by Bobby Jackson with a great game against Alabama A&M. Foul coming up against Alabama State. This time, it's on number 10, Jacoby Ross, the freshman from Peabody High School in Alexandria, native of New Orleans. 10 to 6, our score. 12.45 remaining in this first half of play. And that's going to be out of bounds as Wall stepped on the baseline. Wall from Baytown, Texas. Ross now with the basketball. And a foul is going to be coming up on Bobby Jackson. Boy, the officials are really calling a close game. And this is what's interesting now. Now you're in a one-and-one -one situation, and there's still 12.40 remaining in this first half of play. Now coming into the ball game is uh, Fausto Pichardo. Washington Heights, New York, went to Niagara Community College. First free throw up and good by Ross. One more free throw here by Ross. And he's two for two at the line. You can hear some of his family members and supporters who are in town for today's game, coming from the Alexandria and the New Orleans area. Controlling the basketball for the Grambling Tigers, it's Anthony Gaston. Takes a shot from 15 feet, good. Nice shot by Gaston. Taking one from 15 feet out. Right, a three-pointer on the way. No good, way off the mark. And Ross with the rebound. He takes a three-pointer. It's up off the front of the iron, no good. And coming down with the rebound, finally, is Bobby Jackson from the Grambling Tigers. Gets it on to Ivy Smith, Jr.
And it's going to be a carrying violation on Grambling. It'll go back to Alabama State. Time on the floor. 12 to 8 our score. Grambling on top. 11.51 remaining here in this first half of play. We'll take this time out. You're watching Grambling Basketball right here on GSU TV. Welcome back here to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center where the Grambling Tigers are on top of Alabama State 12 to 8. Early stats, Grambling 4 of 6 from the field. Alabama State 2 of 16. They are 2 of 11 from the three-point line. We're off to the basketball for Alabama State. 11 left on the shot clock. Nice shot just over the outreached hands of De Devontae Jackson. A heck of a shot by Ross getting inside the paint. And Kobe Ross now with four points in the contest. Wall with the shot up, no good. Fight for the basketball, and winning is Maurice White, the 6'11 junior. Ross, another shot, no good. And Shermaine Thomas with the rebound. Thomas drives. Bounce pass out to Wall. Wall drives, shoots, goes up for the layup. Good. Wall with the bucket. Off the glass, and it's now a 14 to 10 ball game. Grambling on top. Great drive there by Wall. Three point bucket. And Simeon with his first bucket of the ball game. It's a three-pointer. 14-13 now Grambling on top of Alabama State. Devontae Jackson. Now over to Wall inside. Wall goes up, can't get the shot. Wall with the rebound goes up. And he's going to the free throw line. Boy, talking about working hard inside the paint. And he's rewarded by getting ready to go to the free throw line. That foul is going to go against number 15, Pachardo. That's his first personal. Now both teams in the bonus with 10-01 remaining here in the first half of play. And Wall goes to the free throw line. Wall missing his first free throw. And Wall 0 for 3 now at the charity strike this season. One more opportunity. G coming back into the game for Alabama State. Wall, Deontay Jackson, Perry Murray, Gaston, and Jermaine Thomas all in the game for the Grambling Tigers. Tough defense being played by the Grambling Tigers. Here's a shot by Ross, three-pointer on the way, no good. Coming down with the rebound is Anthony Gaston. Gaston better watch out, and LaFleur picks his pocket. LaFleur driving, shooting, getting the bucket. LaFleur with his first bucket of the ball game, and he will go to the free throw line. Now coming in will be... Kareem Wright, 
Axel will come back in the ball game, as well as Ivy Smith. Free throw is up and good by LaFleur. And it's now a 16-14 ball game. Alabama State now on top. 9.23 remaining in this first half of play. Right with the basketball, right driving, shooting, and he's going to get fouled. That foul is going against number 30, LaFleur. Alabama State over the limit. First free throw up and no good for Kareem Wright. And that's where the late, that's where the Tigers really got to make sure that they uh, do their job is at the line. And, Tell you what, that's, that's a way to draw the foul if you're Kareem Wright. Going to the inside like that, drawing the double team, and drawing that foul. Free throw up and no good, and Wright with the rebound for Alabama State. 0 for 2 at the line for Kareem Wright. Uh, that's going to be a foul on Gramley. I'm going to say that G had the position. That foul is going to go against Kareem Wright. And now Alabama State will go to the free throw line. One and one for G. 16-14 the score. Grambling on top. Well, Grambling trailing with 9.07 remaining in this first half of play. First free throw up. Ain't good. Well, you can see G to the inside and had the position. And G two for two at that trip for, for at the free throw line, and it's now 18-14. Grambling trailing now by four. 904 remaining here in this first half of play. <laughs> right with the basketball now getting it to Axel, to Ivy Smith Jr. Here's a three-pointer. Up, oh, rattles in and out, no good, and right with the rebound for Alabama State. When you look at right, he's 6'11. So you got to get inside on him. Axel with the basketball, gets it out to Ivy Smith Jr. Nice dunk inside by Jason Perry Murray. That belongs on a highlight reel. Ivy Smith Jr. to Jason Perry, uh, to uh, Kareem Wright, to Jason Perry Murray. Wright with a great assist. Pachardo goes inside, going to get the bucket and the foul. Well, just when you think that the Tigers are going to start a little bit of momentum swing, Alabama State does that. And coming into the ballgame for Alabama State, Rodney Simeon. When you look at uh, this team from Alabama State, Coach Lou Jackson has a, has a reputation of going all over the country, getting players in his years at Alabama State, and a foul coming up against Gramlin. This time it's going to be charged. It's going to be charged to Deontay Jones, second personal. 8-12 remaining in the first half of play. First free throw is up and good for Pachardo. Has one more shot at the free throw line. Ooh, that's a cheap foul to call. Well, there it is right there. Thought it was on the initial hit, but it was actually on the second one. Pachardo two for two on this trip. 22-16, Alabama State now up by six. 808 remaining in this first half of play. Ivy Smith Jr. Getting it back out to the outside to Kareem Wright, who had that wonderful assist to Jason Perry Murray. There's Wright going in for the bucket. Oh, he hands it off to Murray. Now to Deontay Jones, swinging it to Avi Smith Jr. Out to Axel, shot up, no good. 
And the rebound by Ivy Smith Jr. Now Deontay Jones will take the baseline and they're going to call a travel. Well, Grantley moved the ball well around the perimeter, just couldn't cash in. 7.43 remaining in this first half of play. 22-16, Grambling trailing. We'll take this timeout. You're watching Grambling Basketball on GSU TV. Back here at the Frederick C. Hamby Assembly Center with 740 remaining in this first half of play. Grambling trailing 22 to 16 to Alabama State. Simeon now in the basketball game to Pachardo. Alabama State getting around the uh, high part of the perimeter. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound by G. It's blocked out of there, but a foul coming up. And that's going to be charged to Jason Perry Murray. That's the second personal. Looking at some of the numbers, Alabama State 6 of 23 from the field, Grambling 6 of 12. <coughs> Hornets are 7 for 8 from the free throw line, while Grambling is 4 for 9. Rebounding pretty much even, 14 to 13. First free throw is up and good by G. One more free throw opportunity at the line. Two for two. Reginald G. Perfect at the line. He has four points. 24-16. Now an eight-point deficit. Largest deficit of the game for the Grambling Tigers. We'll get it out to Bobby Jackson. Jackson to right, right with a shot, up, good. Green right with his first field goal of the ball game. 24-18, Grambling trailing by six. We nearly made right turn over the basketball. Here's Davis, gets it out to Simeon, three-pointer, up, good. Boy, went around the world. Finally went down. And it's now 27-18. Grambling trailing by nine. Here's a shot up no good by Wright. And that ball is going to be recovered by Bobby Jackson. Jackson goes up, gets it to Mapoyo. And a foul coming up against Alabama State. That foul is going to go against Wright. And a one-on-one -on -one situation now coming up for Alabama State. <clears throat> In the ball game now for Grambling will be Devontae Jackson. Coach Lewis Jackson didn't agree with the last call. Two-shot foul. First shot up and good. Bobby Jackson at the line. One more free throw opportunity for Bobby Jackson. Free throw up and good. Bobby Jackson coming in shooting 62% from the free throw line and a steal. Oh, out of bounds off of Ross and it goes off, off of Grambling and goes back to Alabama State. Thought for a minute that it was off of Alabama State.
Simeon, long three-pointer up, no good. It's going to come high off the rim. And coming down with the basketball is Devontae Jackson. Kareem Wright going in and losing control of the basketball. And a foul coming up on Ivy Smith Jr. Did, did he even touch him? Twenty-seven twenty, boy. The officials calling this one really close tonight. So the players are going to have to adjust here. And for Ivy, that's his first personal. Two shot foul coming up here for Jacoby Ross, the freshman from Peabody High School. First shot is good. Second free throw coming up. Boy, I didn't even see where he really fouled him. Drake Wilkes into the ball game now, the sophomore from Haskell, Arkansas. Free throw up and good by Jacoby Ross. He has six points. He's four for four at the charity strike. Foul coming up against Alabama State. That's going to go against Jacoby Ross, his second person. You can hear his uncle in the background going horrible. <laughs> Ivy Smith Jr., free throw opportunity. First one is up and good. Two at the line for Ivy Smith. Five points now. Three-pointer on the way for Alabama State. No good. Ooh, should have been over the back there. Going to call the ball out of bounds as it went over the backboard, and it goes back to Grambling. Five twenty remaining until halftime. 29-22 is our score. Grambling trailing by seven. 5-16 remaining here in the first half of play. Drake Wilkes with the basketball. <clears throat> Jackson getting it to Devontae Jackson. Now to Drake Wilkes. Three-pointer on the way. Good! Shooter's roll by Drake Wilkes. Simeon now trapped on the sideline. Now to Pachardo. Gets it over to Simeon, and he's going to travel with the basketball. Ivy Smith Jr. will control. 4.45 remaining in the first half. Grambling has cut this lead down, cut this deficit to 4, 29-25. Bobby Jackson with the basketball. Drake Wilkes now controlling. That's going to be a kickball violation. Bobby Smith Jr. will drive. Goes up for the shot. Good. Seven points for Andy Smith. As he did a great job with the dribble drive penetration. And now Alabama State just trying to get the ball in. They get it into Gene Davis. And a steal by Andy Smith. Bobby Jackson comes away with it. Oh, they're going to call an offensive foul. Whoa. Well, Bobby Jackson came down. I, I guess he can't argue with that as the Alabama State player had position. So Bobby Jackson, second personal. And now Alabama State with the ball, 356 remaining. 
in the first half of play. Pachardo gets the ball taken away, and then here's Alabama State with the ball right back. G with that last basket and a foul coming up against Alabama State. And Coach Lewis Jackson not happy. That fast uh, foul is going to go against Pachardo. And for Pachardo, that's going to be foul number two. We have a timeout on the floor. 31-27, Grambling on top. 341 left in the first half. We'll be right back. One twenty-seven to score. The Grambling Tigers trail by four points. Three forty-one remaining until halftime. Ivy Smith Jr. at the line. First free throw is up and good. Well, he's been steady at the free throw line. He's five for five tonight. As a team, nine for fourteen now. Struggling from the free three-point line. One of five tonight. They did not hit a three-pointer against Alabama A&M. Second free throw is up and good. Now it's 31-29, just a two-point deficit now for the Tigers. 3.36 remaining here in the first half of play. They're right where they need to be. Here's a steal here. Gaston finally picks the ball up and just doing the wise thing by getting it started and getting it out to Ivy Smith, Jr. Ivy Smith, Jr. getting it over to Axel, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Great job there by Axel. And a foul coming up. Is that going to be on... See who that foul is going to be charged to. It looked like it was charged to right. If it was, it's the second person. Yep, it's going to be charged to right. Apoyo. One of two at the line. Oh, nice attempt there by Drake Wilson. and he finally got to hold the ball, but G got it back. G goes up for the shot, partially blocked. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. And the official takes some time here to go to the scores table. 2.53 remaining here in this first half of play. And they're going to watch the uh, replay here. I, was it a shot clock violation? The only thing I can think of is a shot clock violation. Well, while they take an opportunity to look at the replay here on the shot, I believe it's the shot clock is what I'm thinking. Okay, now you see a little bit of the replay here.
I'm not sure what it was. It, it must have been some kind of a shot clock violation. 31-30 is our score. Shot clock reset, and it should have. Eight seconds left in the shot clock. Five seconds, six seconds. Jones goes back up, can't hit the shot. Now right with the rebound. Right steps on the line and goes back. And Coach Jackson fussing at the official, Coach Lou Jackson. 239 remaining here in this first half of play. Grambling Tigers will host Prairie View in Texas Southern January 13th and the 15th here at the Assembly Center. Shot up, no good. Foul coming up against Alabama State. And going to the line will be Devontae Jackson. That foul is on right. That'll be his third personal. And boy, he is an instrumental part of that uh, Alabama State offense and the rebounding. 6'10", 6'11", really. First free throw up and good. Here's a drive here. Yeah, got him with the body. Devontae Jackson with his first free throw, up and good. Ball bounces off the back of the rim. Floating jumper, no good. G will take a three-pointer, up, no good. And Ivy Smith Jr. trying to fight with the floor for the basketball, and they say he's on the line. The official looking right at his foot. Oh, that's close. Oh, yep. I can see where he went out of bounds. 31 31 the score. 207 remaining in the ball game. Rambling trailed at one point in time by eight. And you can see Ivy Smith one more time. Yep. Got his foot over and then brought it right back. Simeon, three pointer. On the way, no good. Ball is tipped. Ivy Smith Jr. Getting out to Mapoyo. Mapoyo goes in and with the dunk. And so Mapoyo with a minute 42 remaining here in the first half of play. And a steal. Here's Ivy Smith Jr. Count the bucket. That was going to count either way because he uh, goaltended. And now Alabama State. In a little bit of a slump, Ivy Smith Jr. in double figures now, 11 points in the ball game, and now a substitution. Lou Jackson wants to kind of slow down the uh, momentum a little bit. Davis will come in and take out Lafleur. Johnson goes in, gets it blocked out of there by Mapoyo, goes back in for the shot, count it, and a three-point play coming up. The foul is going to be on ja Devontae Jackson. Brandon Johnson gets the bucket and cannot complete the three-point play. Missed that free throw horribly. Mapoyo getting it for Gaston. Gaston with a shot, floating jumper, good. He has four points. 54 seconds remaining in the half. 37-33, Grambling on top now. Gaston and Ivy Smith Jr. picking the ball up. And it's blocked out of there by Jackson. Devontae Jackson getting the block, gets it out to Gaston. 38 seconds remaining in the first half of play. And Ivy Smith Jr. 
will drive. Kick it back out to Gaston. Three-pointer on the way. Good! Gaston for three, hitting the gas, and it's now a 40-33 ball game. Pressure put on by the Grambling Tigers. Davis with the basketball. Timeout with 13 seconds remaining in the first half of play. 40 to 33 the score. We'll take a timeout, 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling Tigers. On top, 40 to 33, five seconds remaining until halftime. Mapoyo with the rebound. is just gonna just settle just for getting the ball and going to halftime with the score, 40 to 33. The Grambling Tigers take the lead into halftime. We'll be back with second half action right here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. Back after this.
Welcome back to Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center here on the campus of Grambling State University, Alabama State Basketball. It was tied at 44, and now Grambling has a 50 to 46 lead. Shot up, no good. Goes off of Alabama State and back to the Grambling Tigers. 11:39 remaining. Grambling a 6 to 2 run right now over Alabama State. Gaston will inbound the basketball. And the Tigers will try to make it a six-point lead. Ivy Lee Smith. Twelve points. Devontae Jackson with the basketball. Turns it over and it gets into the hands of Reginald G. Right thought about it. G now a three-pointer up. Good. Timeout Alabama State. Full timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. 50 to 49 now the score after that three-pointer by Reginald G. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling Tigers. On time now, 50 to 49 after that three-pointer by Reginald G. Ivy Smith getting it to Devontae Jackson. Kickball to be Grambling's basketball. Reginald G was named to the all-tournament team following the New Orleans shootout. Very valuable to this Alabama State basketball squad. Shot him no good, and Alabama State coming over with the basketball. Simeon, who's a three-point threat, goes in for the shot. Blocked out of there by Devontae Jackson. Jackson will take the ball up the floor, getting it to Ivy Smith, Jr., Gaston, and now we'll go towards the other side, getting it to Ivy Smith Jr. Smith, shot no good. Rebound by Drake Wilkes. Fresh shot clock now for Gramley. Devontae Jackson with the basketball, goes back to Gramley. The 15 left on the shot clock. In the Grambling <coughs> Alabama State lineup, Jacoby Ross and Brendan Johnson. Mapoyo getting ready to check back into the ball game. And Shermaine Thomas is in the ball game as well. Monte Jackson shielding himself, going and getting the bucket, and he's going to the line. <laughs> 
Dante Jackson with nine points now in the ball game. Eight points in this half. Up and good for that shot. 9.39 remaining. Brendan Johnson, of course, hitting that bucket. Now has eight points. Tremaine Thomas now the basketball inside the paint. Goes in no good, and Alabama State with the rebound. Fifty-two, fifty-one, Grambling on top. Nine and one remaining in the ball game. Move the ball around. Three pointer on the way. No good. And Shermaine Thomas with the rebound. Thomas kicks it back out to Gaston. Still 18 left on the shot clock. Papoyo goes up for the shot. No good. And right there to pick it up. Gaston. He now has 11 points on the evening. Four in this half. 54-51 to score. Ball on the floor. Johnson gets it tied up with Papoyo, and it goes the other way to Grambling. Timeout on the floor with the score. Grambling, 54. Alabama State, 51. We'll take this timeout. We'll be right back here on GSU TV. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling Tigers on top of Alabama State, 54 to 51. They will inbound the basketball, looking at some of the numbers. Boy, Alabama State has put the ball up quite a bit, 16 of 56. Grambling, 19 of 42. Alabama State, 6 of 25 at the three-point line. They are making their free throws. They're 13 to 17. Grambling still holding the rebounding edge, especially on the defensive side, 27-18. And there's an offensive rebound by Grambling. Three-pointer by Gaston. Good! Gaston for three. He has 14 points now. 57-51. Smith and Gaston both in double figures for Grambling. Simeon goes up for the shot, and it rattles in good. Simeon now has eight points in the game. 57-53 <clears throat> now the score. I think they gave it to the wrong person. They gave it to Brandon Johnson. And Simeon was the one who hit the basket. Alabama State getting the ball back. 
57 53, 635 remaining in the contest. The ball's tipped out of bounds off of Grambling back to Alabama State. Gene Smith and G back in the ball game, as well as Drake Wilkes. Kobe Ross drives, kicks it back out. Now to Simeon, three-pointer. In and out, no good. Rebound by Brandon Johnson, good. Johnson, now in double figures, he has 10 points. Push on Alabama State. Goes against Ed Jones. Poyo at the line for Alabama State. Johnson with the rebound after a missed shot. Jones now with the basketball for Alabama State. Now to Jacoby Ross. Back to Jones, shot up, no good. Ball tip, Drake Wilkes with the rebound. Wilkes, 6'6", six, six, sophomore from Haskell, Arkansas. Gaston now looking inside. Thought about getting it to Devontae Jackson. Here's a shot by Gaston, up no good. And Mapoyo <coughs> tried to grab the rebound, is tipped out. Substitution in the ball game. Tremaine Thomas coming in for Drake Wilkes. 57-55, two-point ball game, 523 left to go in the contest. Kobe Ross. Ivy Smith one-on-one -on -one with Ross. Ross goes in, gets the bucket. And they're going to call an offensive foul. And so for Ivy Smith, that is his second personal. Can't argue about that call right there. Kobe goes up, shot blocked by Ivy Smith Jr. And then a shot up and in. 57-59. Made shot. That is by Brendan Johnson. He has 12. Grambling trailing by two now. 420 remaining in the ball game. Alabama State has clawed their way back into the lead. Gaston going up, drawing the foul. Foul is against Brandon Johnson. That's his third personal. First free throw up. 59-57 to score, and you can see this again. Brandon Johnson did get him on the foul. 
Missed free throw there by Gaston. Needs this one here. No good. 0 for 2 on that trip, and that would have tied the ball game up at 59. Jacoby Ross, three-pointer on the way, no good. And the tip-in is up and good by number 14, Ed Jones. Timeout Grambling with 3.48 remaining in the ball game. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. 59, 50, it should be 61-59. Or 57, rather, 3.48 remaining in the ball game. We'll take this break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. Santoria Black here with you on this Wednesday. The Grambling Tigers trailing 61-57 at Alabama State University. Tremaine Thomas to Mapoyo. He drives, he shoots, can't get the bucket, and it's going to be a blocking foul. Two shots coming up for the Grambling Tigers. That's going to go against Pichardo. And Mapoyo, who has not shot the ball well at the free throw line. The last trip. Five for nine. He needs this one. And he hits this one. Now six for ten. Got one more opportunity here. Six for ten. Needs one more. Last trip at the line. He didn't do well. And he's redeeming himself now. Six. Now seven for 11. 61 59 now the score. Grambling on, is trailing by two. 3.30 remaining in the ballgame. Kobe Ross, who has eight points in the ballgame for Alabama State, controlling the rock. He's defended by Shermaine Thomas. Thomas out of Homer, Louisiana. Ross goes up for the shot. Good. Tough shot by Jacoby Ross. Ivy Smith nearly getting a circus shot. He'll go, he'll go to the free throw line. Reginald G picks up that foul third personal. Well, Alabama State looking for their first win of the season. Grandly looking for their first win in conference play. Dante Jackson in his first year here at Grambling. First free throw up and good. Lewis Jackson. 
11th year at Alabama State, been to postseason play five out of the 11 years, three NC2A tournament bids, one NIT and one CIT bid. That was the last time they went back in 2013-14. Missed that free throw. 63-60 now the score. Foul coming up. Oh, they say it over and back violation. Bobby Smith with the basketball now to Gaston. 63-60. Smith to Mapoyo. Slip, Mapoyo goes out of bounds. That was a good no call by the officials. Kobe Ross with the ball defended by Shermaine Thomas. Nine left on the shot clock. 2.19 left in the game. Ross, three-pointer. Whoa! Jacoby Ross showing out in front of his fans that have come from Alexandria. Foul coming up against Grambling, or against uh, Alabama State. Foul goes against Ed Jones. First free throw for Ivy Smith is good. One more at the charity strike. Second free throw up and good. Tremaine Thomas comes in. Taking out Deontay Jones. Jump ball, and that possession goes to Alabama State. In the ball game now for Alabama State, Gene Davis. He replaces Ed Jones. Ball is tipped. Comes back into the hands of Gaston. He goes up, almost travels. Mapoyo with the shot. It's up, no good. Foul coming up. And it goes against Grambling. Gaston picks up his second personal, and now a one and one situation for Alabama State. 66 62 with a minute 56 remaining in the ball game. First shot by G, up and good. So he'll get the bonus. The Tigers would down now by five with a minute 56 remaining in the contest. Now six points. G two for two at the line. Again, he was a part of that all-tournament team in the New Orleans shootout. Liberty, Fort Wayne, Louisiana Tech, and Alabama State were all in that uh, tournament down there in New Orleans, hosted by Xavier University. Boyle getting it to Ivy Smith. Smith going up, has a shot blocked. Ball almost tied up. 
Regaining control is Yosho. 130 remaining, Grambling down six, 68-62. Timeout, Alabama State will take a timeout as well. It's a coach, coach's timeout, 30-second timeout. We'll be right back, Grambling down 68-62, 127 left to go in the game. We'll be right back. Back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center, the Grambling Tigers trailing 68 to 62, 118 remaining in the ball game. They got to get a stop and they get a foul here and that'll be on Devontae Jackson. That should be his third personal. And it's a one and one. Yosho, not one of the better free throw shooters on the team. He's shooting about 57% on the year. First shot is up and good. Got a stoppage of play here momentarily. Should be 69-62 the score. possession ball game after that made free throw. Free throw up and good. Mapoya with the basketball. He's going to drive. He's going to draw the foul. That foul is on Gene Davis' second personal. 70-62, and Mapoya needs both of these to pull it within six. First free throw up and good. Simeon now getting ready to come back into the ball game. Offense for defense now. Simeon is a three-point threat for Alabama State. Shot up and good for Mapoyo. And Grambling will take a timeout here. With 106 remaining, 70 to 64, the score will take a one-minute timeout. We'll be right back.
back here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. There's going to be an offensive foul charged to Gaston. That's his third personal. <clears throat> and a one and one situation now. Davis at the line now for Alabama State. Coming into the ball game now for the Hornets is Brendan Jack, uh, Brendan Johnson. First free throw up, no good. And Grambling still has a chance, 670 to 64. Drake Wilkes. Gets it to Mapoyo. He goes up for the shot. No good. Traveling against Alabama State. Seventy to sixty four, fifty two point seven remaining. And Devontae Jackson loses the basketball foul coming up against Gramlin. Drake Wilkes with the foul. That's his first personal. Both teams in the double bonus. Possession arrow going towards Grambling. Two shots now for Johnson. He makes one. It's a three-possession ball game for the uh, Grambling Tigers. Ooh, off the back of the iron. Grambling gets the ball back. Still a two-possession ball game. Drake Wilkes has it. Gets it out to Devontae Jackson. The three-pointer's up. No good. Drake Wilkes with the basketball. He gets out there. Out to Ivy Smith. Three-pointer for Smith. It's up. It's no good. Mapoyo tries to get at the basketball. Out to Smith. And a foul by Ivy Smith, Jr. That's his third personal. 28 seconds, 70 to 64. One free throw here and three possessions would be tough for the uh, Tigers to come back from. Nothing is impossible. Well, it's been a tough night for Brendan Johnson at the free throw line. And he made that one. Seven point lead. Drake Wilkes for three. No good. Over the backboard. Goes back to Alabama State. And now offense for defense. Jacoby Ross comes in, taking out Brendan Johnson. And they call a foul against Grambling. Bobby Smith Jr., that's his fourth personal. And at the line for Alabama State, Jacoby Ross. First free throw up, no good. Now coming in the ball game, Rodney Simeon taking out Gene Davis. I should say uh, Gene Davis. If Ross makes this one, they'll have one more substitution, Brendan Johnson. Jacoby Ross, one for two here. 72-64 now, an eight-point lead. Jacoby Ross, 14 points in the ball game now for... 
Alabama State. Three-pointer by Gaston. Up no good in and out. Off of Grambling. Back to Alabama State. 9.1 left. Now Jacoby Ross back into the ball game. Offense for defense. Break Wilkes fouls. Second personal for Drake Wilkes. Two shot foul for Pichardo. First one up and good. Second one is good. And now a 10-point lead for Alabama State. 6.4 remaining in the game. Ivy Smith goes in. Gets the layup, but too little too late. And Alabama State gets their first win in conference play and their first win of the season by defeating Grambling State 74 to 66. 41 point second half for Alabama State, 26 point second half for Grambling. We'll take this time out and we will have the head coach of the Grambling Tigers, Dante Jackson, with us in just a little bit right here on GSU TV.
Welcome back here to Press Row here at the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. Santoria Black along with Dante Jackson, the head coach of the Grambling Tigers. Tigers was a tough one, 74 to 66. And coach, let's first of all talk about it's a tale of two halves. First half seemed like Grambling played really well. Second half seemed like things kind of fell apart and Alabama hit their stride. Yeah, we just, uh, right now we're, we're, st we're still working on our toughness. You know, you get the league play, you got to be a little tougher on rebounding. And really the second half was just about giving up offensive rebounds and I don't know if we're running out of gas or what, but we played really, really well the first half. Still could have played a lot better, I believe, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to be tougher. Got to find ways to pull this out, and, you know, we're, we're depending on a lot of sophomores, and sometimes they're just not handling adversity well. You know, down the stretch, also one of the things I know you talk about often is putting yourself in position to make sure that you can make plays. In a lot of cases, you saw Alabama State kind of putting themselves in position to where they got to the free throw line and got easy buckets. Yeah, and that's that's one of the main things, you know, and that was really one of the big things for us. You know, we end up missing 14 free throws a day. We miss six one and ones and when you do stuff like that, you can't win games. You're talking about missing 14 and possibly having 20 opportunities at the free throw line at Alabama State. They did a great job of knocking down theirs at the end, and we didn't. What's one of the things that you tell the guys to make sure that they get ready for another tough swing because you're going to the road to play Southern and Alcorn this weekend? Well, you know, they just got to get ready. You know, at the end of the day, nobody's going to – it's not going to be an easy game out here. You got to come ready to compete night in, night out. That's just the bottom line. And, you know, right now we got to get back to the drawing board. Bright side, you had Mapoyo who did pretty well at the free throw line. I think he was somewhere around 9 for 11. Um, uh, nine for 13, and then of course Ivy Smith Jr. He's been steady nine for 11 there as well. Yeah, but you know, we, we, even though we did well at the free throw line, we got to do a better job shooting on the field goal percentage. So, you know, we got to keep working at it. Well, Coach, uh, the other thing I want to ask you about is that uh, you talked about the offensive rebound, second point chance or yeah. second chance opportunities. You know, that was big. Are they pretty sure they scored about 25 to 30 points off second point opportunities, and that was a backbreaker for us. Well, Coach, we'll see you coming up this weekend, Southern on Saturday, and then Alcorn on Monday. Yep, thank you, sir. All right, appreciate, appreciate it. you. Thank you. Dante Jackson joining us here on Press Row. The Grambling Tigers lose a tough one, 74 to 66. Thank you for joining us. Thanks to, to the entire television crew for the broadcast this evening and on Monday. We will see you coming up again uh, in mid-January when Texas Southern and Prairie View come to town. Until next time, always remember, one nation, one people. Peace.